Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be covering five reasons why your Tornado Druid build sucks. And the first reason is going to be you don't have Spirit on your chest. By putting the Aphex Spirit on chest, you get an enormous amount of additional Spirit. No, you don't need this max, but just simply having that Aphex is better than not. That even includes when you compare this to Uniques. Here's the Aphex here. Four Spirit per second is what I have on this particular chest. Absolutely huge for this build. That will make it better than the Unique Mad Wolf's Glee. There's nothing on Mad Wolf's Glee that even comes close to comparing to the additional spirit per second, despite the remaining affixes on Mad Wolf's Glee being better in this case. I've gone ahead and equipped the Mad Wolf's Glee just so you can see what I'm talking about. As I go through and I've lost a trample proc, and now I'm just a duck sitting in the water, right? I have no spirit generation. I'm waiting for trample to come back till I can actually get some spirit back and then cast tornado again. Do not neglect that part of the build. If you do not have spirit on your chest, you will absolutely have difficulty playing this build and often just be standing there doing nothing. Here's a much larger pack and I have swapped the legendary chest back on. That way I have additional spirit per second. You can see what an enormous difference it makes. In fact, I can't even go oom, but if I oom myself intentionally, I've already regened enough spirit to then cast tornado again. Make sure you have it. The second reason why your tornado build may struggle is because you've just swapped too early. Perhaps you don't have Tempest Roar yet. And Tempest Roar is absolutely crucial for this build. I would not play the build without it. Tempest Roar, in the very bottom here, your base storm skills are now also werewolf skills. That means Tornado is now a werewolf skill. Within the Druid skill tree, having a single point in Toxic Claws will cause critical strikes with werewolf skills, which will now be Tornado, to deal poisoning damage as well. Having the enemy be poisoned is going to allow you to do 30% multiplicative bonus damage on critical strikes. The third reason is pretty similar to the Tempest Roar. It's another unique that you're going to want for this build. It doesn't necessarily define the build, but it absolutely helps, and this is going to allow you to spam trample over and over. The more often you can spam trample, the more unstoppable you have, the more mobility you have, and actually the more damage you have, not only because of this spirit, but trample does considerable damage with this build as well. As for the tooltip, this is going to say whenever you get a kill with shapeshifting skill, your next non-ultimate werebear skill, trample is the one we're most concerned about here, is going to cost no resource and have no cooldown. And we can see this in action. It's very easy to just forget about trample and use it only as your mobility skill or your unstoppable. That's not what you want to do. In fact, you want to be using trample quite often. Look at how fast this is resetting, and it's resetting more often than not. Not only can I cover massive amounts of distance, but it's doing a lot of damage. Some of that has to do in part with one of the skill reworks from this season. Quick Shift has been altered to the new tooltip. Shapeshifting into a new animal form is going to allow you to deal multiplicative damage, and this will actually stack up to six times. With Tornado being a werewolf skill and Trample being a werebear skill, we can cast a Tornado, use Trample, we can cast another Tornado, use Trample, and we can keep these stacks active and just have the Trample dealing more damage, allowing Hunter Zenith to actually proc more frequently as well. The next tip has to do with survivability, and this build of course has plenty of damage and that only continues to scale as you get higher level and into the end game. But let's talk about Juggernaut's aspect. This is incredibly powerful. This was phenomenal for Druids in the previous season as well. You can see this character has 10,600 armor, and this set of legs actually has 840 armor on it plus an additional 5,000 granted by that aspect. If I remove just the pair of legs with that aspect, I'll go from an 85% damage reduction all the way down to 25. That doesn't show you how important that aspect is for this particular build or just characters in general. The fifth and final tip I have is to remember, this is being labeled as a tornado build and tornado has been around for a while. And if you run around just casting tornado, as you see here, you'll kind of be a little bit starved in terms of spirit. Now, what you actually want to do is start thinking about this in a different mindset. And what I mean by that is think about it as a trample build. I'm using trample almost as often as I'm using tornado. So if you're running around just trying to use tornado, clear all the mobs out, not only will your clear speed be slower, but you're not taking advantage of all the tools at your disposal. You want to make sure that you're using everything, and trample is a huge portion of this build, whether it be simply for mobility or the increased damage that you're getting from quick shift and some of the other changes that we've seen this season. But again, look at the replay there. I'm literally trampling as often as I'm using tornado. So it's not really a tornado build. If anything, it's kind of a tornado trample setup. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and have a great day.